Hey guys, so on today's video, we are gonna review Inizio, and I'm actually excited. For a while, I was a little overwhelmed with all the releases that Nespresso was having, and I was getting a little bored with taste testing, and it's been a little bit. I think the last taste test was Il Cafe, like all of those, Tocanto or Raffio. So I haven't reviewed Inizio, and I've had it in my cabinet, and I just haven't touched it. I've been wanting to try it, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna review it for them because I had a few of you guys, you know, ask if I liked it or not and I just haven't tried it. So we're gonna try it today. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So, Inizio is a Lungo and I am so excited that it's a Lungo because I love Lungos. Lungos are misunderstood, but they're honestly just another form of espresso. They're just brewed with more water. So your regular espresso will finish brewing earlier than a Lungo because a Lungo will just, you know, extract a little bit more water and espresso and that's what makes it a lungo correct me if i'm wrong but that's just how i understand it inizio is kind of replacing giorno which i did make a review a long time ago about giorno and i did not like it i think i don't know what it was that i didn't like i think it was like a fruity pod but it just it was weird. I didn't like it. I'll, I'll link the video up so that you guys can take a look at it. So Inicio is supposed to be similar in Giorno, but I don't know exactly what it is. So we're, I'm going to read what the box says. It says, why we love it. Inicio is the helping hand easing you into your everyday. The velvety smooth body of this Ethiopian and Kenyan Arabica blend comes with a warm strength from its rich toasted cereal notes wild florals that give you that laid back sunday feeling i think it was the florals that i wasn't a fan of it's a level intensity four so it's not gonna be very strong which i do vaguely remember that giorno was a level intensity four as well let me look at what the website says about inicio inicio is a level intensity four the longo is going to give you about five ounces floral cereal and then aromatic notes are floral toasted cereal i just wanted to see what giorno said so giorno is a floral and velvety and then their aromatic notes are flowery and citric so it is slightly different i'm hoping that this one is good but even then, it's still an Ethiopian slash Kenyan Arabica. But I'm assuming that because it is a Longo and not a huge coffee pot like the Giorno one was, maybe it does change the, you know, acidity or bitterness and stuff like that. So maybe I'll like it even more with Giorno, not in Isio, but with Giorno. It says that with milk, acidity from the Kenyan brings a smooth sweetness to the coffee. And I think it might happen the same way where sometimes the milk cuts out like the fruitiness or the floral stuff like that so i'm excited to try it this is what the color of the pod looks like it's a super vibrant zesty orange color but yeah let's give it a go So here is the coffee. I don't know why it bothers me that these mugs only have the brand name on this side. And usually I have my mug with my right hand so you don't see it. But that's not, that doesn't matter. Okay, let me go ahead and smell it. Oh my God, it smells like vomit. It doesn't smell good. Ugh. We're starting off on the wrong foot. It smells like, it smells like vomit to me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna taste the crema because, ugh. I'm just gonna mix it into the coffee. All right. Sorry if you don't like my spoon legs, I don't care. <laughs> oh, it smells weird, but the spoon leg was pretty good. Okay, let's taste it black. This it feels like it's been an eternity since I did a taste test. not bad that smell i can't get past it because now i'm tasting it and it's weird as an aftertaste it doesn't that's not like the exact taste but once everything dissipates it's lingering oh i smell it okay not my favorite black 
but I'm hoping that it tastes good with milk because milk does wonders in, in the way that it like gets rid of a lot of that bitterness, acidity, funky smelling kind of thing. So I'm not gonna judge it just that just now. I'm gonna froth a little bit of oat milk and then we'll see what 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 that brings us. Hold on. This is the milk that I'm using. I have a ton of you guys ask me on Instagram what am I doing right as far as like frothing because it feels like you see my froth and it looks frothy and then you do it at home and it doesn't. I honestly think that the Chobani and Sla Chobani slash Silk brands zero sugar oat milk froths really really well and I think that's what might be the issue. Also I noticed that the older the milk is, for example if I open it up on a Monday, usually on Saturday, Sunday, it might not froth the same. But just keep that in mind. I feel like the fresher the milk, the better it froths. And then zero sugar is the way to go for sure. So that's what we're gonna use today. Chobani oat milk, zero sugar. I usually do a half a cup just right before, I don't know if you can see, but just right before the milk covers the neck of the ball. You know what I mean, if you have a, uh, a froth there like this. But either way, about half a cup is good. Here's the milk. Let's just pour that in. Okay. Give it a little stir. Oh, that tastes good with the milk. It tastes nutty. That's good. That's quite good. Is oat a nut? <laughs> I don't know. But I know a few of you have told me maybe it's the milk that's making your pots taste nutty, but I, I could assure you that I don't think so because I feel like the milk doesn't taste like this in a lot of my pots. Just certain pots, I feel like it gives it a very nutty taste. So Canto for sure, Cafecido do Brasil for sure. And then this one is another one that tastes nutty to me with the milk. It's so funny though because I still smell that smell, but as soon as I try it, it's gone and I don't even taste it with the milk. I wonder if it's the floral that's giving me that like smell and taste, but it's not a good one. It's not a floral. It doesn't smell floral to me. It smells green, I guess that would be the word. I mean, florals are green, but, but with milk it does, it's nice. I could picture myself just like the box says on a nice morning, it says Sunday, but honestly, any morning could be a nice like relaxing cup of coffee for me. So this with milk is nice. I'm gonna sweeten it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the Pink House Alchemy Simple Syrup. They actually sent me this one to try because I've been wanting to try something like this for my taste test so that it doesn't alter the flavor too much, but it does sweeten your coffee. So that's all that it is, simple syrup is sugar and water. And so I'm gonna use this to give it a little bit of sweetness and then honestly, like I said, this pot I could see working with a lot of things. Even if, though it's floral, I feel like the milk significantly cuts that out. Once you add milk, it, I feel like it's just more of like a neutral taste. So you could pretty much do whatever, um, whatever flavor you would want with this pot. But today I'm gonna use sim uh, the simple syrup from Pink House Alchemy. And they actually gave me a code for my followers. So if you guys wanna try the, any of their like flavors out, it's AlexM15. I'll put it down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. But I love a lot of their flavors. Can you tell I feel a little rusty? Like it's been so long since I did a test taste test. I feel like I'm out of my habitat. Here is one tablespoon. That's all I'm doing. I feel like I've been cutting down on sugar and one tablespoon has been really good for me. Give it a little mix. This is really good. This is good. Okay, it's good, okay? But I wouldn't say it's my favorite pot at all. There's something about that smell that you smell right before drinking it that is bothering me. Again, once you add the milk, it goes away. Like you don't taste it. You do taste it black, but after adding milk, all you do is smell it and really don't taste it after you add the milk. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But other than that weird smell, it is really delicious with milk and the simple syrup 
you could actually taste the cereal notes. It's a cereal note floral, and I think with the milk, it's definitely more that cereal uh, roasted kind of pot, which is nice. I like those. Even now that I'm like tasting it, you kind of do get a hint of floral. Yeah, it's not overpowering though. But again, it's not my favorite. I think among the Longos, I like Uganda. I like Arondio, Costa Rica. Oh my God, Costa Rica is so good. Um, what else is a Longo? I think those are it. Am I missing one? I think Inizio would be at the bottom of the Longo <laughs> pots for me, but it's not bad. Again, I'm doing a coffee pod, no buy. So if you guys are new to this channel, I'm not buying any pods. You saw at the beginning how many pods I have in my cabinet. I'm not gonna buy any pods. I did say, so the, here's an update for a lot of you guys that are invested in my coffee pod no buy. I did say that I was gonna end it in December, December 6th to be exact, when we closed on our new house. But the builders actually told us that they're gonna have to push that closing date into the new year, most likely around January 15th. We're even hoping, we told them they could take as long as you want because we have a year lease here in Rockford. So. I'm going to do my no buy until I am down to maybe 10 coffee pods and then I'll give myself the opportunity to restock my stash because, you know, 10 coffee pods would be gone in the time that I get my new batch of coffee that I ordered. So that's the new rule regardless if it's December, if it's on December 6th, before December 6th or even if it goes into the new year. That's my new um, rule for me because obviously I did say when we close, but by January, mid-January, I almost, I think I will be needing to reorder. So that is the new rule. But my point is that I am glad that I do enjoy it. Like I don't hate it, like Bianco Forte or I don't know what else do I hate. You know, Stronger Napoli and stuff like that. At least I like it because I need every pod that I can get during this copy pod no buy. You guys are wondering if I'm gonna review Puerto Rico, if I'm gonna review the pinwheel, gingerbread if i'm gonna get the advent calendar i'm not gonna get any of those things until after the coffee pod no buy and if those coffee pods are available after i am able to order them then i will possibly do a taste test by then it might be a little too late i don't know you guys let me know but yeah that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye